It's um, a highly socially engaged day out for uh, people with various memory problems, prim primarily Alzheimer's, uh, and we serve the devices and surrounding villages, uh, this is our, which is our local community. Uh, I've been doing, I've been here four years, which seems to have slipped by really quickly. Um, the club itself has been open uh, for five years. It's our fifth, fifth anniversary this year. I think this particular centre is a very special place. Um, I think that starts with Grant and Carol, the way the ethos here is uh, it's a very friendly, sociable place. I don't know whether you've ever been to any other sort of places where other people are, but quite often there's not a lot of conversation and necessarily interaction between um, members or people that go here and I think the minute you walk in here you see that everyone is very relaxed and comfortable and I think that's I think that's really lovely and that's why I continue to stay here and we're never short of volunteers. You know, it makes a huge sense on a human level but on a financial level you know it's 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 expensive so uh, we have eight members here as I say supported by three staff and two volunteers so it can be pretty much one-on-one -on -one when needed with people here. Uh, we generally have five or six and um, sometimes more types of activities each month which could be anything from belly dancing to jazz to guide dogs coming in and that's all provided by people in, a, in and around devices which is uh, which is really really welcome. Uh, you, we don't wear uniforms which is deliberate again because we don't want there to be a difference uh, between them and us we don't we want to create more of a um, a social situation much as if you have like a family um, all coming around for say Christmas or whatever you know you've got older people and younger people it you know you don't want to make them feel as though they're different really. Got to get some free pizza, I hope. Domino's Pizza feed the club every three or four months, um, very generously. And um, today's the day we're going to get some free stuff. It's very welcome. When we first did this, we worked out that um, we found out that quite a few of the club members had never had pizza before, so it was uh, a bit of a revelation. Went down very well. How long have we been doing this for? Uh, Domino's have done this um, cool, for about nine months, nine months now, so every few months they give us a free meal. And there's a fish and chip shop around the corner, Norman's Fish and Chips, uh, fit, uh, Lemon Place, which is brilliant. And they, uh, they get, they, um, it's not free because it's a small business, I wouldn't expect it, but they give us highly discounted cost price fish and chips every uh, every couple of months as well, which is, uh, again, very welcome. It sort of comes in almost on the... You know, the same sort of budget our food, our normal food bill does. And again, it's a bit of a treat for people. The florist shop, across, just across the way from us. And this is, um, I'm just walking past it. This is run by, this is the Perfect Petals is run by Annette. And for the last four years, she has provided flowers for our uh, lunchtime tables every week, which is amazing, free of charge. And all through the year, um, certainly through the summer, um, and when, she, you know, when, when they're available, she builds uh, hanging baskets for our garden and supplies them through the year as well. So she's, uh, she's quite a lady. Enough, but that's maybe what I need to do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's so good, otherwise the Sincerely, I love coming here and <coughs> I'm a great crowd of people, especially the gentleman who runs it. Oh, so that, that's, yeah, this is yeah, Bob was the volunteer you were working this morning. Bob, Sam loves you. Yeah. Sam, thank yeah. you very much, Sam. <laughs> Good on, Bob. It gets away from the white, which is the first thing. And you have a real good time, good fellowship amongst everyone here. And everyone joins in. 
So we have a good time. Even the dogs enjoy it. Dog well, yeah. Even the dogs enjoy it. Do you like coming to Jacob to this place? Yes, I do. I love it. You love it. Why do you love it? I don't know. The people are nice and friendly, and you know they they, they make you feel welcome. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's sitting at home and doing nothing, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of the activities we do. Oh, oh, we're sitting socialising. You like socialising, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind, you know. It's, it uh, makes a change. Anyway, do it really. Yeah, I'm back here. I look forward to coming on this one there. What day is it? It's Thursday. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Not with you coming, that's the main thing. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yes, I look forward to coming. Marvelous. Oh, they're nice people. You know. Well, we love like having you. We'd be the same without you. Thank you. If you weren't here, if you weren't here, I'd have to come and find you. <laughs> you mean to see us on Thursdays? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Why, why do you, Why do you enjoy it? Well, it's the sort of nice little fellowship, isn't it? You know, it's uh, That's pretty good. people your own age and uh, tell old trip. jokes. <laughs> old jokes. Yours are particularly old, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's all known before I came. Mm. I'd have worked out. And you play, you play a bit of music for us as well. That's mm, definitely, That's yeah. Mm. Go on, man. Uh, yeah, he's a you great entertainer. He is a great entertainer, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's just entertained every Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 trapped at home. If they didn't have places like this to come to, then they would most likely just sit indoors all day. Or, you know, because they can't remember to go out and do the shopping or what shopping they need to do. So they need almost some care and attention to be given to them and someone to give them activities to do. Some of the people have been coming a lot, quite a long time and like the boys club that we've got now, they have a lot of fun together, they recognise each other, they kind of play games, you know, they play bagatelle and do things together and they have a lot, there's a lot of laughter here. So I would say it's very important. I think that a day club like this is, um, it's a delicate balance, everything rests on the atmosphere. You know, people need to, I, I'm a huge believer in the fact that people who are experiencing memory problems become very sensitised in other areas, emotional areas, and they need to feel comfortable. People sometimes are reacting strangely to them, they're not feeling right themselves, very isolating condition. As soon as anybody walk, walks through this, the door into this club, it's essential, they feel that this is okay. This is a weird family getting together for a, a surreal day out for the day, and, and, it, and everything's fine. Um, and I think the outcome of that is that people become highly engaged, they relax, um, and um, you know, I'm not here to cure anything, but the, there is a, a lot of uh, evidence started to come out that people that um, keep active, keep social, keep feeling valued and valuing other people um, respond to that type of stimulus just as or stimuli, just as well as possibly the drugs they're being given. I think it's very important for the people that come here, but also for the people that look after them at home. Um, that's one, I, one thing I'm very conscious of and we do sometimes meet um, their family members and so on um, and I know from personal experience how much uh, help it is to say the wives or husbands or daughters or sons or whoever is their um, main carer to have some time to do their own thing and have a bit of space and, and so on because it's very very hard 
when you have to look after someone who has, um, um, you know, dementia. I don't think people realise unless you've actually gone through it yourself. This is our garden. Um, about two and a half years ago, this was a patch of concrete, literally. There was, there was nothing here apart from one laurel bush, and that was it. So, okay. All this is um, the work of largely of volunteers, of staff, of uh, people who just volunteered to help out. The lions gave us some money for some compost and some soil to put in. And um, so it's become the work of many hands now, and it's, it's a really lovely resource. All the artwork you see on the walls. Um, has been done in a club with um, with an art therapist. Um, my neighbour made bird boxes and other people as well. Um, we've borrowed walls of other, other buildings to climb higher and it's a uh, fountain was donated. Lots of random objects which have uh, make it a real sort of sensory garden. You know, um, lots of bright colours, uh, a real mix of um, flowers, vegetables, all kinds of different things. Things that people bring, we just shove it in a pot and um, and uh, we're lucky to have people know about gardening who can uh, who can uh, bring them on and grow them into what it is. So we've um, yeah, this has been going now, say just over two and a half years, and um, it's a great resource. We sit out here in uh, when the sun shines, and uh, well, this afternoon we will, and um, just have tea and coffee and talk rubbish, and it's uh, yeah, it's fabulous. It really is. Uh, we're very grateful. And uh, all through the year we've been donated bird feeders and we keep those going and we have uh, a wide variety of birds 12 months of the year now, which is fantastic. And um, lots of insects and um, butterflies. It's, uh, considering we're on the centre of devices, it's, it's, it's become quite something. Well, better than I ever expected it, because when I arrived, I think we had about three random pots and that was it. But uh, it seems to have grown. <laughs> <laughs> I always think we're a bit like a we're a bit like a weird family getting together for the day sometimes, aren't we? <laughs> In a very good well, way. I wouldn't say weird. A, a lovely family, though. Yeah, exactly. Quite right. Quite right. <laughs>